this sweater doesn't match my outfit, but I'm cold. <laughs> This video this week is just going to be kind of a rant of how the last few days have gone for me and I am, I don't know why I'm making this, I just, I don't think I can make anything else right now. I am just still amazed. Uh, luckily I'm not as mad as I was before because of reasons, but I just want to give you a run through of this week and my issues with PayPal and Depop and my personal issues just fucking because. Starting off, my entire family had a really bad week um, starting Wednesday because my grandma fell and broke her hip and me and my grandma aren't particularly close because she's always lived like two hours away from me but she's my grandma and I love her and it was just really stressful with my mom and trying to arrange everything and get everything ready with the hospital and stuff and so we were all stressed out and then I spent the entire weekend two hours away in her town just figuring things out and visiting her and stuff so that is the setting for this story and then on Friday my mom stops me after school and she's like your bank account is at a negative and I was like what do you mean it's at a negative? I just checked it like yesterday and I haven't bought a single thing. I haven't used my card or anything since then. And she was like, well, check, it's at a negative. And I check and my account, I had just transferred money from my debit card to my Miss Weech. Oh, you can't see her. So, I had just transferred money from my debit card to my savings because at the first of every month or around that time, I like to transfer some money to my savings so I don't spend it all. <laughs> and so I had barely any money in my debit card. And so when I got a fee from an item that I had sold on Depop, it had went into the negative. But the weird thing is about that is that I have never had that problem before. My account has been, had almost nothing in it for all times. And I had never gotten a charge on my debit card in the first place, which is why it was so weird because it always goes through PayPal. I always have money in, pay, a little bit of money in PayPal because usually it immediately after I make a sale, the money goes into my account and then the 10% fee is subtracted after that. So I always have money in it no matter what because it happens almost immediately. But this time it went through my bank. So I was like, what is going on? And it had made my account go like cents into a negative. And then I got charged a $30 overdraft fee. So I was really, really stressed out about that. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know who to message. I didn't know if it was Depop, PayPal. Once again, I am 17 and I've only had a bank account for like less than a year and I'm not really sure how all of it works exactly. My mom helps me with a lot of this stuff so if I sound really stupid in some of these situations and eh, that is why I'm really, I'm just explaining how this was frustrating to me, not really blaming anyone, it just happened. But it turns out that PayPal has a new policy or it was a new policy to me where you have to enter your social security number and a photo ID to be able to have money in your PayPal or else it's not yours. You have to claim it. And I did. I hadn't done that uh, because I didn't think it was a big deal. I was like, I've had this a pay PayPal account since I was 14 and I don't see why I, it's just becoming a thing now. So I kind of just ignored the notification and everything kept going. And then apparently it became a big enough deal to where I wasn't allowed to use the money in my account unless I transferred it to my bank. So that means that the, the money I, that was in my account didn't count as having money in my account. So it went to my debit card, which I wasn't expecting, which is why there was no money in it. And I was very upset about this and I tried. I don't like talking to customer service. I don't. And I especially don't like doing it when I'm frustrated about a situation because I do not, 
I'm, I'm one of those people, I do not want to be rude to customer service. I want to be like the perfect customer and I want everyone to be happy and everything. And I, I just, I know it's not their fault. I know it's the company's fault or whoever did its fault. It's not the person I'm talking to. So I did not want to do that. So I emailed Depop and I emailed PayPal and I was like, what is going on? And then I tried to do the message system with PayPal and I was just like, what am I going to do about this negative $30 charge? I was really upset. And they were like, oh, well, I don't know, but your account isn't, isn't confirmed. I think that's what it's called. And so I, they were like, confirm it. Here's a link to confirm it. And then by that time, I was driving to, I was in my mom's car and we were driving to grandparents' town. And so I was like, I don't have my social security card. I don't have my social security number and I don't, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to, to give them that information. And so I was like, well, what am I going to do for the next two days? And then that night I made another sale on Depop and I got charged an overdraft fee again, even though I had money in my PayPal and I had money in my PayPal from the last, last transaction and I moved it to my bank account, but still because of the minus 30, I was already under it. And so then I got charged a, another $30 overdraft fee and I was $66 in the hole and I wanted to die. I was, I felt, I was so upset and I was just like, I didn't even do anything. Like I, I don't want to have to pay them and it's not my fault. And I was just like, what am I going to do? And like, <sighs> And my mom was trying to convince me, you have to call customer service, you have to call customer service. And so finally, when I got home that night, I was just about to call customer service. And then I look at my account and I'm like, why did PayPal just add $30 to my account? And I'm like, they must have given me a refund for the $30 that I talked about last time. And I was so, so happy. And then I called the PayPal customer service um, anyways, because there was another $30, and she was super nice. She was, like, perfect, and she explained everything to me, and I understood it. There was... They realized what they had done was a mistake. It was something, something with my account just not going right, and they shouldn't have charged it on my debit card in the first place, especially without notifying me. So she said that they would refund me the other $30, so I would no longer be in the hole and have to worry about that with my bank. I would just have to explain to my bank what happened. And I was so happy. Then I also asked her about doing my social security number and by this time I had talked to my parents and they were like, you're not 18, like should you be giving them your social security number and stuff like that. And so I asked her that and she was like, oh, I that's something you would have to ask them about, but I don't think so. And so I was home and I didn't want this to happen again because I knew some of it had to do with my account being not not being able to claim stuff and so I was just like okay I'm just gonna put my social security number in I'm going to have my photo ID and everything and then it'll finally be over with and I was so happy and I went to bed that night feeling really good and then I woke up the next morning and I had my my account was disabled because I was I wasn't 18 when I made the account and I don't know if I just didn't know this when I made the account. As I said, I made the account four years ago when I was 14. And I I didn't know what to do. And they basically said, you have to delete your account and make a new one when you're 18. And I was just like, I'm going to be 18 in two months. Are you kidding me? I have had this account for four years. And you're just now doing this. And I was just so upset. And I just, uh and at least I had taken all of my money out, except for the $30 that they hadn't even given me yet. I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to get that. I don't think I am, which sucks, but whatever. And they basically said, I can't do anything. I, I can't use my account anymore because I made it before I was 18, even though I'm 18 in two months. And I don't know if I just wasn't aware of that policy when I was 14 or if it changed or anything. I don't remember anything about making my PayPal account. It was a long time ago. And so I did some research and I found out that even if I was 18, like at, if this was two months in the future and I was 18, they still could have closed my account because I made, when I made the account, I wasn't 18. 
And I, I saw a thing about like a 30 year old getting their account closed because they made their account when they were 17 point, point like eight. Like they were two months away from being 18 and they lost like $300. And that's just insane to me. I don't really get how that works. But basically I couldn't use PayPal anymore. And I understand that part of this is my fault because I didn't understand the policy at the time I made the account. I mean, granted I was 14. But yeah, I just don't understand why they ignored it for four years and then suddenly came came for me, came for my wig, just fuck you, where you don't get an account anymore, even though you're almost 18. And it was just really awful. <laughs> and I cried like twice every day. And even, and if you guys if you guys don't know me and you don't understand, like I depop, everything goes through PayPal. If you do not have a PayPal, you can't sell things you can't buy things even if you have a bank attached to it nothing it's all through paypal and they told me i couldn't make a new one until i was 18 so for the next two months my depop would just be unusable and any of the money that, that did get purchased through it i wouldn't get it would just go straight to paypal so i was basically screwed and i was so upset and i didn't know what i was going to do and my mom was just like just connect my PayPal for the next two months and you can I can transfer the money to your bank since our banks are linked and it'll be fine and that's basically what we have to do I have to wait two months without a PayPal can't use mine and it just sucked it was a bad situation and then another thing on top of that we have been having horrible horrible weather Last week, uh, just as a comparison, last year we had zero snow days. I live in Minnesota. It got really, really cold last year. Still, no snow days. And this last week, we had two days off of school for complete snow days and two half days, which is just insane. And I was obviously happy about that at first, but it's just getting really annoying because I can't drive anywhere. And then also, the post office in Minnesota, the entire state, was shut down for a couple days. And because of that, uh, the United States Postal Service sent out alerts to everyone on their Depop label, Depop orders that haven't shipped yet and have shipped. And so it made my orders look like they were shipped when they weren't. And they had a tracking number on them and everything. I don't even know how they do that. So I wasn't able to give people their tracking numbers. And I wasn't even sure if I was allowed to ship them when they were already said they were shipped. Because I'm like, it's like a ghost tracking number. What am I supposed to do with this? And so I emailed Depop. I sent like a thing to my buyer and I was just like, I'm really sorry. I don't think I can ship until I get back to them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, is this mail fraud? What what the hell is going on? And then Depop messaged me back, luckily, like literally later that day. Like that's the one thing about Depop. Like they are usually, it's 100% every time I've messaged them about something in a day or less, usually way less, they have messaged me back and I'm like super grateful for that. And they said it was due to the weather alert. It made items look like they were shipped and they actually weren't. And so I needed to just print the shipping label anyways and send it. And they wanted me, they they basically asked me, let me, let us know if it works. So they didn't even know if that was going to work or not. But I dropped it off at the post office and they apparently didn't have a problem because they didn't say anything. And I just gave shipping proof instead of a tracking number to my person and it was fine. But that was kind of just the little thing was the icing on the tip of this just horrible, horrible weekend slash few days. And I just was, uh, it was awful. And then I had an interview yesterday to be a camp counselor. And that entire morning throughout the school day, I was just like panicking, panicking over my PayPal and what I was going to do and stuff like that. And so I was like, there's no way I'm going to be prepared for this interview. There's no way. But I actually got the thing with my mom's PayPal and everything figured out right before the interview, like an hour before. And I was just like, okay, this is over. This has to be over. This has to be over, right? 
and I, I was just able to get myself to a state of calm and I think I did the interview well but I was just dreading it because I was like the way my week is going this is not gonna go well but I didn't let it psych me out and I was able to do it and I think I did well so yeah at least I have that it was a good ending to a very very bad few days slash week and I think I'm done with my rant but I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope you guys like my pain and suffering. This was literally one of the most frustrating experiences of my life. Uh, not really. I'm being dramatic. I've had I've had lots of horrible things happen to me in my life, but this was just something that is just like the most annoying, just worst thing you can go through when you're a small business person. And I, yeah, it was just it was bad. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video for some reason. And I made it completely for selfish reason reasons for me to rant. But I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe.